Howdy, lieutenants and economists. The most volatile, evil, disgusting things on the planet, humans. If you have a video request, you can always go to assholeconsulting.com. Yeah, I am gonna charge you, kids. And that is the importance of not fucking up. You are such an asshole! Hey everybody, Cappy here, and we got a video request, and as always, if you have a question, or you're confused about something, and uh, you want asshole to answer, because assholes will give you the truth, because they don't care about your feelings, contact me at assholeconsulting.com, and I will charge you, because I'm a self-respecting asshole, I'm not a charitable asshole, I want to be paid for my time. Uh, Omar writes, hi Cap, my name is Omar, you gave me some advice back in 2013 about not pursuing a master's in finance. I pursued it and I regretted that. See? See? I, no one listens to the old Claremeister here. I just wanted to share some thoughts with you on investing and ask for some of your advice. I have researched and read tons of material on investing. There's a popular argument that suggests that the majority of investment companies fail to deliver attractive returns and that they even fail to match the return of indices. That is not only... um. A popular argument, it's true, and it depends on what studies you want to cite. I mentioned it before, I think, in a very recent video. Uh, but the la latest data I saw is that 84% of the professionals, the investment professionals, fail to beat the index. And just for the, the listeners who may not, uh, you don't want to go back or you don't know what we're talking about, when we're talking about an index, we're talking like the Dow Jones the Industrial Average, the S&P 500, the Wilshire uh, 6000, there's different indices out there. And... Uh, the the main ones like the S P 500. If you look at the performance of professional money managers, people that you are paying to invest your money to provide high rates of return, 84% of them do not beat the index. I mean, and I'm sure that number changes as time goes on. But the vast majority of them fail to beat that index. So this behooves the question. Well, why don't I just invest in the index? And you can do that through mutual funds, index mutual funds, or things called ETFs that merely track the index. They're not, and, and they're, they're much cheaper because they're not doing research. They're not trying to beat the index or find the next Apple or Google. They're just like, nope, here's the index that's we're investing in. And so, um, yeah, but truthfully, the vast majority of financial professionals, the financial money managers should be gone. They just should be gone because they're not doing their job. So anyway, so that's what he's talking about, fail to match the returns of the index. <clears throat> I personally think that in order to achieve profitable returns through active investing, you need a lot of time, investment resources, and effort. Having read Buffett, Peter Lynch, uh, Philip Fisher, Benjamin Graham, oh, you read, what was it, Securities Analysis by Graham and Dodd? <whistles> Things thicker than, what's it called? Atlas Shrugged by Ayn Rand. It seems that a fundamental aspect of investment analysis is reading company annual reports from at least the preceding five years. Furthermore, you need to read industry journals to understand the underlying economics and understand competitors. An advised additional step is to speak to company managers and attend shareholder meetings. And don't forget economics and international factors and the global factors and monetary policy and all these new wonderful things they've been adding in the past 10, 15 years. I ask myself in this day and age, is it really worth it? How many more percentage points can be gained from all this? Wouldn't it be much more efficient and resourceful just to invest in index funds? Yes. Now, if your job is Warren Buffett, where your job is buying companies, or you are a mutual fund manager or a hedge fund manager, then yeah, that's your job. That's what you do day in, day out. You even have staff to do it because you can't do it individually on your own. But if you're just the average schmo um, looking to invest, yes, absolutely. The index funds is going to be... I can't guarantee that their performance is going to be better than mutual funds or it's even going to go up or anything like that. Um, but in terms of time invested, the average person, you know, you're a plumber, you're a taxi cab driver, you're a surgeon, you're an astronaut, you're uh, an idiot blogger. You don't have time to be going out there researching. And me personally, I, I mean, yeah, I'll, I'll invest my... Um, yeah, I, I, I like... It's gambling. You can't even call it investing. I like finding the occasional stock that just looks like it, you know, it's it, it's a crapshoot. Nah, I'll throw a couple hundred, maybe a thousand bucks in there. Um, but for the most part, um, yeah, if I'm going to invest, it would be in an index. Now, don't take that advice. You can't, don't, don't come, oh, yeah, yeah. you're going to lose all your money if you follow my advice there. So, it's, um, anyway, but... Uh, yes, from a philosophical standpoint, yes, it is more efficient for the average person who invests in the index. I would be really interested to hear what you have to say about this and get your take on it. I personally have been investing in stock index funds for the past 2.5 years and cannot see the incentive to spend countless hours watching CNBC, reading annual reports, and speaking to investors and managers. Yeah, and like they're going to give you the time of day. They'll talk to Peter Lynch. They'll go talk to the dudes over at Templeton Franklin. They ain't going to talk to you. 
Uh, from the knowledge I have accumulated from investing, I've also written an ebook on personal finance and picking mutual funds. I've published it on Amazon. It'll be enlightened for you to read it. No, for you. Yeah, so go ahead, just send it to me um, on email. You got me email, so you can do that. But yeah, you're absolutely right, and this is a lesson that everybody should learn. You'll see, it's like, it is not like, I take that back, it is identical. It is identical um, to watching pre- and post-game sports shows and sports analysis and ESPN. CNBC is the exact same as ESPN. They cover things. It's exciting. And they make you think you're part of it, but you're not. You're not the basketball team. You're not the New England Patriots. You're not the Denver Broncos. You're not the, um, I don't know, the well, not the Sonics. Didn't they go away? They're Oklahoma now. The Milwaukee Bucks, you're not the Minnesota Timberwolves. That's not you. But they have the analysis showing sports talk center and talk shows. Well, Jim, who do you think's the better uh, uh, quarterback, Bart Starr or Brett Favre? And you think you're part of, oh, and then you get your, oh, do you guys play fantasy? Anything? Because it's fantasy. You'll make fun of the kids playing fantasy video games and Dungeons and Dragons, but you guys, you cool washed up jocks. Oh yeah, you're you're cool playing fantasy football. <laughs> anyway, I just pissed off. I don't care. <laughs> but that is the exact same thing as you watching CNBC or you reading the Wall Street Journal or something like that or watching any of these shows or Kramer and all that. You think, oh, I'm part of this. I'm part of it. No, you're not. You're not high-frequency trader. You're not a specialist on the trading floor. You're not Goldman Sachs. You're not a hedge fund manager. You're not one of these people. You're just, you're, you're, you're living vicariously through a world that you don't participate in, but they'd love to have your money and have your time. So yeah, uh, uh, Omar is absolutely correct. Your life is too short to be wasting your time watching Sports Center. It's twice, now that being said, I'm going to go see the Harlem Globetrotters here today, but that's more. That's 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 uh, that's entertainment. So is sports. I know, but it's the same thing. Dribble, hoop, dribble, hoop, dribble. Not hoop, dribble, hoop. Ah. <laughs> but it's uh, it's vicarious living. You're not really an active participant unless you are part of a 401k or a pension fund, and you're like this little snowflake that maybe might cause the avalanche. Um, but uh, at, in terms of you being an active trader. And going beyond having fun and investing in a token stock, and maybe it goes up. Um, no, you, you might as well just go with the uh, with the index funds. His, history has said, and uh, again, that's no guarantee of the future. But yeah, otherwise you're going to waste so much freaking time. I had this this high school, not high school, um, neighborhood sort of friend. He's kind of a douche. All he did was play baseball. All I wanted to do was going to baseball. He was, he was my size. He. People my size don't become professional athletes. He wasted his, I don't know how many summers and how much of his childhood playing baseball, watching baseball, baseball cards, baseball, 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 video games, baseball. And, you know, going to all these speakers where some washed up, you know, third rate brewer would come in and talk to me, you know, like a dinner. And, oh, yeah, I want to get your autograph. Well, he, said, he, he, he never made it to pro ball, never made it to college ball, I don't think. I mean, that's a wasted life. Um, so it's kind of the same thing with investing, you know, like CNBC, you know, this, I'm going to get an an e-letter and news it. I'm not saying finance isn't interesting or economics isn't interesting. You can't learn good personal financial management stuff. But man, if, if you're like watching it, like, um, you know, like you, you're excited to, no, don't save your time. Go spend it with family and friends. Go read a book, go do something and, and just, you know, throw money in the index. That, that's. That is the conventional wisdom as it is right now. Anyway, hope that helped out a lot of people put things in context. And yeah, you're not missing out not watching those shows. Toodles.